Today, let's make an LED circuit using a resistor to limit the current through the LED. I'm going to be using this great online simulation software called Tinkercad, and I'm going to use the parts that they include to make this circuit. I'm just going to use a 9 volt battery because that's nice and simple. And I can go up here and I can click on this button to rotate the battery. Kind of cute. So I am going to just click and hold and drag to make space over here. And then I'm going to bring out a breadboard. So let's pull this down and see if there's a breadboard. Here we go. Small breadboard is all we need. Pull that out. And if you're not familiar with a breadboard, what this does is provide uh, a convenient way to connect things. Here's one that I put together on my workbench just for a comparison. I'm going to pull out the two things that I need. I need the resistor and I need the LED. And now what I can do is I can place them in my breadboard here. Now I am going to get my LED and place it on my breadboard. And these are little holes here where if you had a real LED in real life, you would be pushing the two leads down into these holes. Now you have to be careful though, because if you put the LED in like this, this entire column of holes is connected. So each one of those holes is basically the same exact point on a piece of bare wire. So doing this, you'll just short out your LED. There's no way you'll get it to work. The fact that these columns are all shorted together underneath, they're all basically one piece of wire, that can be a real handy feature. But in this case, it's not going to work if we try to do this. So what we have to do is we have to rotate the LED. I'm going to highlight it, tap the R on my keyboard a couple of times here, a bunch of times. Make it right side up. Okay, now if I connect this in these holes, you can see that this column is all connected together, but no longer is it shorting out the other leg of the LED. The LED is in this column of holes. So now we can do something with this. So let's connect our resistor to, and we can connect our resistor straight to uh, the terminals by doing this. So now this terminal, this side of the resistor is connected to this side of the LED because this whole column is just one series of wires underneath there, one solid wire, I mean. Okay, and then from this end of the LED, or I'm sorry, from this end of the resistor, I can run a wire to the nine volt battery. And if you can't remember whether it should be negative or positive, it's no problem. Just go connect it to the negative terminal. And then you can connect this side of the LED by sticking a wire in that hole and bringing your wire over here to the positive side of the battery. And now we can run the simulation, see if it lights up. And it doesn't. So we must have connected the positive and negative in reverse order. And that's one of the beauties of Tinkercad, and that is if you have something connected wrong, you just stop the simulation and try to connect it a different way. So I'll stop the simulation, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the positive from the battery down here, and I can just put it in a different hole. They're all connected. And then I'm going to take the one that's coming from the negative of the battery, and I'm going to put it up here. And I can put it in this hole, or I can put it in this hole. It doesn't matter. They're all connected. They're all one single piece of wire. So let's run that simulation and see if it works now. Oh, look at that. Isn't that exciting? So we got the polarity right, and now it works. And then you can, you can um, clean this up. You can't double click on this wire to add a corner point while the simulation is running. So you have to go up here and stop the simulation. Now you can double click that wire to add a, a um, point. And then you can clean this wire up a little bit. And here I've adjusted the wires a little to make the circuit look a little neater. And I've assigned the red color, which is standard for positive, and the black color, which is standard for negative. Okay, that's the end of another fine tutorial. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting that bell and then choosing all so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Let me know in the notes if you'd like to see something that I haven't covered here.